Greetings everybody, welcome back to Bugs and Biology. Now, it was my birthday about a day ago, and I figured that my self-arranged birthday present would be a little bit unconventional, or for me at least, very conventional. Now, you tell me what could possibly be a better birthday present than a huge shipment of funnel web... Funnelweb. Huntsman spiders. I don't know how I got those two mixed up somehow. There is an assortment of species here and all of them are not very familiar, like some species, you know, Holconia imminis or Heteropoda jugulans. They're quite commonly kept well-known huntsmen. These ones, they come from Australia's more mostly arid inland type regions out in the outback. They're not species that are very often encountered at all, so most people have probably never seen these. But before we get into the new additions, we gotta get a rehouse out of the way, and by we I mean I, and I really need to stop talking like Gollum. Okay, my precious. In here, and rather obscured, completely obscured, is the oldest of my captive-born Typostola barbata um, babies. In fact, it's, you'll see soon, it's not very fitting to call it a baby anymore. It'll always be my little baby, what am I saying? Without further ado, let's have a look. There we go, let's get the light on a bit better. So Typostola barbata is arguably the biggest, okay, the biggest species of huntsman in Australia. And it is remarkable how quickly this thing has gone from a tiny little baby, smaller than my fingernail, to, I mean, already rivaling the adult size of quite a few of our huntsman species. And every time it molts, it molted rather recently too, it puts on a remarkable amount of size. So it is definitely due for a rehouse. There we go. Absolutely beautiful spider. And it's on the camera. Why do you huntsmen like cameras so much? Is that why most of the viral Australian spider photos are huntsmen? Because you guys just can't seem to get enough attention? Come on. I wish you could see what's happening right now. It's literally just walking all over my tripod. There we go. You piece of shit. Yeah, my channel isn't the most family friendly in the world, is it? Um, a, 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 um. Okay, so without any further delay, before this thing inevitably ends up, you know, in my sleeve or on my back or something, I'm just gonna get it in its new home. So there it is, safe and sound until it eventually outgrows this again and has to be rehoused. And now that the Typostola Barbata has been dealt with, let's take a look at some of the new additions. None of them are especially big, most of them are actually quite small, but some of them at least will get very large in the, well, probably not so distant future because Huntsmen are pretty fast growers. Here is a juvenile of a species called um, Isopedella saundersi, and not exactly the most impressive spider at the moment, I'm sorry, I can see you crying there. But I've got an older individual here and they're very cool spiders, so wait till you see that. This one, who is currently eating at the moment, because when it arrived its abdomen was very small and almost shriveled, so definitely needed a feed. This is a Neosporasis species, an undescribed one. Neosporasis as a genus is often known as the Badge Huntsman. And that's because of a distinctive pattern on the underside that, oh, you can't see because of the label. Lovely. You are very, very cooperative. Um, okay, well you can sort of see it from the side there. You can see that on the underside of the spider's abdomen there is a distinctive pattern that resembles a badge. So that's where the name Badge Huntsman comes from. I'm just gonna let this little fellow eat in peace. Let's get some of the bigger fellows out. So this here is a species called Holconia nigrigularis. It is in the same genus as Holconia imminis, which is one of the more familiar Australian huntsmen. But this species comes from the red center of Australia. So 
This is an arid species, unlike Holconia imminis, which occurs mostly along the coast, although it can be found a bit further inland as well. And like Holconia imminis, this species can get to some pretty impressive sizes. And while this one at the moment is quite small, it's probably not going to stay that way for long. You are absolutely gorgeous, do you know that? Well, you don't know that because you're a spider and you can't understand my English, but yeah, just, just trust me, you are gorgeous. And pretty laid back as well, like, really laid back. Maybe I spoke too soon. Um, well, I definitely spoke too soon. It, yep, yeah, okay. Oh, you little rat bastard. Obviously you couldn't see that and I didn't exactly want to film it to, because that'd be a, a source of distraction, but it just jumped straight onto my computer screen and there was quite a bit of a chase. Hey, my goodness. Did I really call this huntsman well behaved before? No. This thing is a word that I really don't want to use. Wow, okay. Whew. Oh, 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 oh. I can't say I'm looking forward to the rest. Although to be fair, the bigger huntsmen are generally easier because, well, they're a hell of a lot harder to miss. Speaking of bigger huntsmen, this here is Isopeda magna, the giant Mali huntsman. Mali is a certain type of biome uh, in Australia where the dominant trees are fairly short, I think four to six meters eucalyptus, that tend to be multi-stemmed. Little bit of geographical information there. Isopeda magna also happens to be the largest species in its genus. This one at the moment is still fairly small, but it will get to a pretty impressive size. Hopefully, it doesn't prove to be too uncooperative. There we go. Okay, that was... That was very, very easy. Hi. Yeah, so as far as coloration and patterning goes, it's a, a pretty ordinary huntsman, but again, hopefully the size should make up for that eventually. In the meantime, I just want the lid on because huntsmen, if they want to go somewhere, they're going to get there. So what do we have next? We have, ooh, yeah, looking forward to this one. I was warned that Isopeda Woodwardi, very, very unusually for a huntsman, is a really defensive species. I'm a tad nervous here. The, in fact, the person who sold me these described Isopeda Woodward Eye as terrifying. Now, after giant centipedes, I'm gonna have a hard time finding any huntsman scary, but I really hope I haven't underestimated these guys. And like Isopeda Magna, Isopeda Woodward Eye is one of the largest members of its genus and one of the largest Australian huntsmen overall. These ones are still reasonably young. Not especially huge. Okay. Okay, so a bit bolty, in fact, um, yeah, considerably more than a bit bolty. But honestly, as far as defensiveness goes, I haven't really noticed anything, really. It's just, just your classic huntsman. Hopefully it doesn't end up proving me wrong later, but yeesh, well, in it goes. I'm not gonna say that was easy because I was chasing it around my desk for a while, but all that ends, all, all is well, that ends well. I think that's how it goes. And there it is under the bark. And now more opportunity for fun and adventure presents itself because I have to unpack another Isopeda Woodward Eye. Fun. Very, very, very fun. Hi. Well, you're sitting still at the moment. Shall we... Shall we keep it that way? Can you give it a little bit of a prod? Oof. Don't get defensive. Don't get defensive. Let go. Let go of the card... Oh, for goodness sake. Look, mate, I'm not asking for much, okay? But could you please at least be a little bit less of a prick. 
wow, it's like it was actually listening. Wow, that was, okay. That was surprisingly cooperative. Is that, is that the key to safely rehousing huntsmen? Just politely asking them not to be pricks? Wow. If I ever write a care guide, I know what I'm gonna say. Well, without further ado, let us move on. And ah, yes. So remember when I showed you that juvenile huntsman near the beginning of this video and I told you it wasn't very impressive yet? Well, this is an adult or near adult anyway. Oh, very curious too. So this is Iso P. De La Saunders Eye and have a look. Could you sit still please? Have a look at the underside of the legs. That is a spectacularly patterned spider. I have literally never heard of this species until quite recently, but it has already become one of my favorite huntsmen or just, you know, one of my favorite spiders overall. The gold spots and the black and white bands on the underside of the legs and just the somewhat reddish hairs around the front of the body. It's just an amazing looking spider. Not especially huge for a huntsman. It's not going to get as big as, um, you know, Holconia or Beragama or definitely not as big as Typostola, but still they're reasonably sized spiders. Whoa. And just like other huntsmen, they can move at very, very considerable speeds if they so desire. Hello, you are very, very sexy. What, what, what's wrong? You, you didn't like it when I, when I called you sexy before? Why? I'm complimenting you. Ooh. Oh, just, just when I was about to compliment you for sitting still. Okay. Now that I've got it in a clearer container, we can get a better look at these splendid patterns on this animal's underside. So the final Huntsman is one that I'm just going to be leaving in its packing container for now because um, someone may have underestimated how many enclosures they needed to go out and buy. But here we have Isopedella Lei, the called the Cinnamon Huntsman for um, uh, reasons. So yeah, pretty cool looking species, not the most exquisitely patterned or especially large huntsman, but you know, it's a huntsman and they are all cool in my book, even when they are spazzing out and acting like a bunch of complete hooligans high on, I don't even know. All right, I think I'm just gonna end this video here. This huntsman's actually behaving really, really well, but that being said, I did say the same thing about the whole Conia nigrigularis, and we all know where that led. It led basically all around my room. So yeah, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other uploads. And of course, let me know what you thought in the comments as well. And hopefully you enjoyed it at least a whole lot more than I did. So thank you very much for watching, that is it from me and I shall see you again very soon.